am R. Jamna Rani, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science. Now I explain about procedures, functions and triggers. Procedures. A procedure may have zero to many parameters. Every procedure has two parts. The header portion which comes before as sometimes you will see IS. They are interchangeable. Keyword. This contains the procedure names and the parameter list and then second one the body which is everything after the IS keyword. The word replace is optional when the word replace is not used in the header of the procedure in order to change the code in the procedure. It must be dropped first and then recreated. Then example for procedure. It, in order to execute the procedure in SQL star plus use the following syntax execute procedure name parameter parameter are the means to pass the value to and from the calling environment to the server these are the values that will be processed or written via the execution of the procedure these, there are three types of parameters in out and in out modes specify whether the parameter pass is a read in or a receptacle of for the comes out the types of parameters mode in description passes a value into the program out passes the value back from the program in out passes value in and also send values back formal and actual parameter formal parameters are the names specified within parenthesis as part of the header of the module actual parameters are the values expression specified within the parenthesis as a parameter list when a call is made to the module. Formal parameter and the related actual parameter must be of the same or compatible data types. Functions. Functions are the type of stored code and are very similar to procedure. The significant difference is that the function is a PLS, PL bar SQL block that return a single value. The function can accept one, many or no parameters but a function must have a written class in the executable section of the function. The data type of the written value must be declared in header of the function. A function is not a standalone executable in the way that a procedure is. It must be used in some context. You can think of it as a sentence fragment. A function has output that needs to be assigned to a variable or it can be used in select statement. This is the syntax for the function. Function does not necessarily have to have any parameters but it must have written value declared in the header and it must return values for all the varying possible execution streams. The written statement does not have to appear as the last line in the main execution section and there may be more than one written statement there should be a written statement for each exception. A function may have in out or in out parameters but you rarely see anything except in parameters this is an example for the functions making use of the functions in the anonymous block and then in sql statement next triggers a database trigger is a stored pl bar sql program unit associated with a specific database table Oracle executes a database triggers automatically when a given SQL operation like insert, update or delete affects the table. Unlike procedure or function which must be invoked explicitly, database triggers are invoked, invoked implicitly. Database triggers can be used to perform of any of the following audit data modification log events transparently enforce complex business rules derived column value automatically 
implement complex security authorization, maintain a re replicate tables. You can associate up to 12 databases triggers within given table. A database triggers has three parts, triggered event and optional trigger constraint and trigger sections. When an event occurs, the database trigger is fired and a predefined BL bar SQL block is, will perform the necessary action. It is the syntax for the triggers. Types of triggers. Uh, triggers may be called before or after the following syntax. Insert, update, delete. The before or after options can be used to specify when the trigger body should be fired with respect to the triggering statement. If the user indicates a before option, then Oracle fires the trigger before executing the triggering statement. On the other hand, if an after is executed, Oracle fires the trigger after the execution of the triggering statement. Thank you.